and what's going on fontaine here vip soundlab.com and i'm back on persona studio one v2 with machine if you saw my last video we were showing you how you can route your midi into personas using one way that was one way i showed you using the host feature I asked some questions in regards to dragging and dropping midi into personas so i'm going to show you another workflow if this workflow works easier for you fam you can use this way too so basically what we're going to do is we're going to split the midi notes from machine it's still going to be a multi-track uh session and again machine will become a sound module at that point so we have machine right here open as a virtual instrument or a VST, or if you use a MacBook AU plugin inside of Personas V2. So right here, I have a track that I prepared for the video. Let me go ahead and rewind that. All right, so let's go ahead and get the MIDI from Machine, our virtual instrument inside of Personas V2, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some tracks set up. You have an instrument tab down here inside Personas. Okay, you can right click here. You can press expand and add some channels as I'm doing here. I'm gonna add four because I only have three sounds in this loop and I have a sample here and I wanna trigger those channels. So we're gonna get that set up in just a second. So just give me a minute on that. So right here, here's our channel. So we have those set up. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna to go to our virtual instrument, which is machine. By now you should be familiar with the drag and drop icons for MIDI as well as audio. So I'm gonna grab the MIDI one here. You can see right there, it names the group and also shows the beats per minutes, the way I have it labeled. Okay, you have two choices. Now I can split them from this point as it's splitting the notes here, or if I wanna start from scratch, I can do it here. In this particular situation, what I want to do is grab the MIDI and drop it here. I also have another here on a different group. I'm going to bring that over here because it needs to be triggered as well. All right, so we have all four of those over there. Being that we have the MIDI over there, I'm going to go ahead and erase this off because we're not going to need it. We got a little straggler back there in the back. All right, now we're going to come back to machine in a minute, but first let me clean this up a little bit this looks a little off right here why i did that i have no idea um it's never done that before and i'm going to open these up a little bit more but at least we got it done while the video was playing you know if you have any midi that gets dragged and for whatever reason it's longer than what it should be you know we can truncate that off like that all right so now from this point what we want to do is get our virtual instrument which is machine having our MIDI channels to correspond with Persona Studio One so that they can be triggered. So you notice over here, you have an eye icon here. Basically all that is, is just called the inspector view. And moving all these little screens around is driving me crazy here, but I wanna get back here to the first sound, okay? Now the first sound here, you notice here where it says output, you have your inputs, okay? So the audio is saying none, so we need to get our virtual instrument triggered. So we're gonna go to machine two all right channel one you see that the audio immediately gets automatically assigned to machine now this channel is on channel one yes it is the same as the first instance of machine don't worry about that why because the midi notes we erased over here so they're not going to get triggered i mean if you had a blank group over here it works the same way you know so just as a reminder or a vip member tip you know make sure that you save whatever you're doing over here whether it's your sounds your session, your group file, you know, if you have an effects chain set up, whatever the case may be, save that first in case you do accidentally erase your session. But if you ever did that, you got the MIDI over here in Personas anyway, you can bounce that back and put it back anyway. But, you know, I'm just trying to just cover all the bases here. So now from this point, we're going to go to all our sounds and get them set up. So this is a part where you have to be very patient with me because I have to go through this. <laughs> um, good thing we only have these four sounds right all right so machine two all right four all right so the midi channels are now corresponding with our virtual instrument which is machine channels one two three four we could double check our work like that all right so we got that set and basically the process would repeat if you had more sounds you're basically just taking the outputs and you're routing them to machine in other words as a virtual instrument and that midi will correspond to each sound that's inside of 
machine. Okay. So now in machine, we have to do a little housekeeping to get this to function uh, correctly. So for example, this is the heart and soul of machine right here. This little, the channel properties and your plugin icon here. Generally, you know, you can do the same thing on the mixer, but I'm on the sound level right here. Okay. And I want to go to audio. Why? Because I'm looking for the destination. So we're going to set this guy as one. This one is two. This one is three. This sound. Okay. So now we have the output set up. They're assigned. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the input. Okay. And from this point, we want to go to the MIDI tab. This is the audio tab. We're not going to worry about that. We're jumping to the MIDI tab now. Okay. It's going to, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong sound here. Okay. Activate this one. Activate that one. Activate that one. This one I don't even need. I don't even know why it's even there. All right. So active, active, active. All right. So now we just want to set up the channels. Why to correspond with the MIDI inside of personas. All right. We got those set up and we have another group here where we need to do the same thing. Make it active. We had this guy on MIDI channel four and let's see, did I do the output on this one? Let's see. Destination four. All right. And we also have the EXT on that one on four. Now the audio mute is um, activated here on this sample because again, you know, samples can play out a little bit longer. If, if you don't have it set into ADSR mode, what happens is when you press stop in your, your host on your host transport, you know, it, it can play a little bit longer than you might want. That could be aggravating. So that's what this button's here. It's like a, a quick kill switch. In other words, it's like an ADSR switch, but it mutes the audio. You know, if that makes sense, it just kills the audio. So now we have everything lined up over with our virtual instrument, which is machine. So basically from this point, the MIDI information is now inside our DAW, which is Personas V2. It's, you know, all that MIDI information is in there now. You know, Studio One will now trigger uh, our virtual instrument in this particular situation, which is machine. And now we have to use our DAW's transport. So we have to go to the Studio One transport, rewind it, and press play. And we'll just hold it up right there. This is your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website, which is www.VIPSoundLab.com. We do free machine 2.0 tutorials. And also, you know, again, I do work a lot, so it's hard for me to get the, the uh, tutorial videos out the way that, you know, I would like to. <clears throat> but I'm trying to do quality over quantity. And, you know, anytime I have time, I will be putting these machine videos out. You know, I'll, I'll try to pump out as many videos as I can for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, hit me up, you know. So, um, yeah, on the site, you know, we have a basic VIP membership. It's nine ninety nine with no monthly fees. So, um, you know, basically, you know, when you come on our website, when you create your own, uh, you know, your own account and your password, when you log into the uh, tutorial section, you're going to see also a, uh, a free sounds page. OK, it's going to be like a little icon. You click on that when you click on that. That's where you'll find all the controller editor templates and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I will take this one and also add that one in there. Uh, just give me like a day or two because I got to wrap it up, you know, zip it and upload it and, you know, make all the links and all that jazz. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. If you have any questions or concerns, just hit me up. It's your boy Fontaine, VIP soundlab.com, showing you how you can drag and drop your MIDI, split the MIDI inside your DAW to get all the MIDI information. In this particular situation, Studio One, using machine as a virtual instrument inside of Persona Studio One. All right. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.